have a better idea. Let's play doctor. I'll be back later um, with a healthy green smoothie. Ooh, sounds delish. Claire, come join us. Welcome, all. Today we talk about how you can help your body fight cancer with guided imagery. Yay, no more chemo for me. Oh, these mental exercises are meant to complement your medical regime, Paula, not replace it. Whoa. Somebody could use some medical marijuana. Not even a little smile. Sorry. I was just having a weird day. You're new. You've got hair. Not for long. So I'm fell out while I was making out with my boyfriend. <laughs> Shave it off. No, it's the only way you have control. No, could never. Because you're worried your boyfriend will break up with you. Eli would never do that. Mine did. Said he wanted a girlfriend, not a patient. I don't blame him. I'm sick of hospitals, too. Eli said he was all in quit his summer job to take care of me. My guy said he was all in, too. He just had no idea what he was in for. Tora's delivery at your service. You came. Twinkly lights and a fun movie. Die hard? Die hard. That's what you picked? Oh, uh, geez, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. All that matters is Eli doesn't see me as a cancer patient tonight. Right. Eli's email said to treat you like everything's normal. What email? The one I wasn't supposed to tell you about. Six tips for visiting Claire. Wash your hands. Don't overstay. Bring jokes. Let her rest. Avoid West Drive. Don't mention her hair. Don't mention this email. Eli sent you this. One smoothie for Miss Edwards filled with the cancer-fighting antioxidant power of green tea. Uh-oh, what'd I do? You're telling people how to act around me now? You told her about the email? She forced it out of me. Look, I was just trying to help. By telling everyone to treat me like a cancer patient. You are a cancer patient. I don't want to be awesome okay look i brought you some clippers i've heard that shaving your head can help you feel more in control i am in control right actually i'm feeling kind of tired maybe you can come back later sure thing let's go catch up Sorry, we must have the wrong room. Adam? Huh! What do you think? It's, um... I mean, I mean, it's, uh... Very different. That's... Yeah, it... That... Your hair will grow back, right? When I'm done chemo. Then you should get some hats. Or one of those kerchief things. Or I could just stay in this room and never leave. I don't want Eli to see me like this. He 
He doesn't have to. What, are you gonna grow me a new head of hair? No. I'm gonna call for reinforcements. How about this one? Mm, it's very femme fatale. It, it's not terrible. Please don't lie to me just because I have cancer. But in Eli's email, it said uh, that... X-nay on the email, nay. You know, why bother? I'm just gonna look sicker and sicker. It's a matter of time before Eli dumps me. Okay, hold your hooves. I may have the perfect thing. Ta-da! Expecting my boyfriend. I'll get out of here. Uh, I was looking for your mom. Oh, well, I gave her the night off. But should I pass on a message? I'm 17. I need her to fill out this pre MRI questionnaire. MRI? Magnetic resonance imaging. I, I know it stands for why am I having one? Something came up in your blood work that the doctors want to check out. They want to see if the cancer spread. Knock, knock. Uh, just, just a second. Um, can I fill it out and give it to you in the morning? Yeah. Have fun, but not too much fun. Come in. Whoa. I look silly, don't I? Again. Whoa. 